I always marvel to be in front of a group of priesthood leaders that hold the keys like stake presidents and bishops. They give so much their life and their time and their talents to the church. To just be in their presence is just a thrill and a delight. Uh, to be with the people buoys you up, gives you spiritual strength. You have an opportunity to try and enthuse them in the gospel of Jesus Christ in a very special way. The Lord will empower you if you'll only be close to him. Now, brethren, we challenge you at this time to go forward and see what you can do in this activation effort. To sit and be instructed by an apostle, by the presiding bishop of the church, and by one of the 70 is wonderful to us. I think it's inspirational. I think it's, uh, it, it enriches our lives and uh, gives us a sense of closeness to the leadership of the church. Every time I'm out with the people, it's just like being lifted to a new height, a new opportunity. Oh, the stake has uh, a responsibility to uh, be a defense and a refuge for the people. A defense against the evils of the world, to teach them the correct doctrine. Uh, an opportunity to be a refuge to the people by drawing them together in a community where we can aid them and assist them and just help them understand that we're bound together by the gospel of Jesus Christ in a very special we have way. A set of five, they can do We it. wanted to have the opportunity of uh, meeting all the priesthood leaders personally and shaking their hand. So we had to find a way of bringing the stake presidents and the bishops together in a priesthood leadership conference where we'd have that intimate personal contact with them. And this has been a remarkable event to really have the opportunity of reaching out and being close and seeing eye to eye the great priesthood leaders we have in the church.